with Falcon hockey coach Steve Freeman. And Steve, the Falcons opened up the NCHA playoffs last weekend with a two games to none win over Eau Claire, winning three to one on Friday and six to three on Saturday. We're watching some highlights from the three one uh, win on Friday. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about the two games? Uh, yeah, Jim, I thought that we played um, pretty well defensively, and um, overall in the, the series our play was good. We had some real, real fast starts, and that was were, was really the key both nights. Um, jumped out to 2 to nothing leads, and that's huge in playoff hockey. And then we were able to kind of settle in a little bit and play well defensively, and um, we lost a little bit of our composure, I think, um, on the third period on the second night where we got a little bit sloppy and threw the puck away and, and made some mistakes. But uh, that's because we had the huge lead and the guys kind of um, took care, you know, kind of took it for granted that the game was over. But um, uh, overall, real pleased. Obviously, it's tough to win two games against anybody in the NCHA in back-to-back -back nights. So we're excited to uh, move on to the semifinals. Steve, Ben Baldwin was named the team's player of the week after he scored three goals and had an assist in the two games. Could you talk about Ben's play a little bit? Yeah, Ben, you know, has been good for us all year, and he's just kind of coming into his own right now. He plays on the, we call it the red line, with Josh Collegia and uh, Tyler Zuba, and uh, that's a very talented line, and, you know, the, they kind of have a lot of pop on that line as far as uh, Collegia's kind of the, the setup guy. Baldwin's kind of the big powerful power forward, and then uh, Zuba's kind of the guy around the net that can really finish plays and, and things like that. So Baldwin, um, you know, he got to the front of the net and got himself open and, you know, was able to get some good passes from uh, Collegia and was able to bury some. So he's been playing extremely well and a great young player, only a sophomore, and, uh, you know, we think he'll be uh, one of the better players in the league from now on. Look at ahead, Steve. The Falcons are now 17-8-2 overall, ranked 15th in this week's uh, uscollegehockey.com poll. Play a semifinal playoff game this weekend, Saturday, at St. Scholastica. The format changed a little bit now, just a one game and uh, an out deal. Um, puck drops at 7 o'clock. The Falcons uh, finished 1-1-1 against the Saints this year. What are you looking forward to? Well, you know, both teams know each other real well right now, haven't already played three games against each other, so... You know, I expect a real tight checking game, you know, a physical game. And, um, you know, it just depends on, you know, I think one or two mistakes. I, I would guess they'd be low-scoring games. But, you know, hopefully we can put some pucks away because we've been uh, doing a pretty good job creating offense and things like that. But, you know, we have a pretty good comfort level going up there. We t we won and tied when we played up there earlier in the year. And um, so, I, I you know, I feel pretty good. And we've been great on the road all season. So um, we're excited to go uh up to uh, Duluth, and um, you know I, I think the guys in the right the guys are in the right frame of mind, and we're well prepared. Steve, good luck to the Falcons this weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Jim.